All right, YouTube, I wanted to share this with everyone. This is a 1996 Eagle Talon TSI all-wheel drive. Uh, it's made by Diamond Star Motors. It says it in the door. It's DSM. It does have a little damage right here on the front fender and uh, the ground effect down there. But other than that, clean car. It's got 97,008 miles on it. It has literally been owned by a little old lady. Car is set for, I, I know it's set for over a year. And uh, we drove it home, about a 30 mile drive. And it had one little fit it through and sputtered. and But I think it's just because it had old gas in it. Other than that, it run fine on the way home. Interior is in good shape. It will need a headliner. Uh, door panels cracked right here, but other than that, that's it. Leather seats, they're not tore up. Carpet would clean right up. Good detailing. But it, it's going to need a headliner and some sun visors. Power sunroof in it. And the seat bolted back in the factory position. They moved it forward because she was really short. Just, you know, natural aging of the car. Stuff like this. You know, the black coming off the trim. But but other than that, it's clean. There's no rot anywhere. Just needs a good bath. I won't go all the way around the back because I don't want to show the plate. But there's no damage on the back of the car. Just this up here in the front, which I don't know if she slid off into something. or She loved the little car. She's a little all-wheel drive. It goes like hell in the snow. But it was given to my wife. So. Like I said, it runs like a champ. Uh, you know, just give it a good cleaning up. Fix this stuff here. And fix this, maybe. Paint the bumper cover. Or, uh, you know, clean the headlights and stuff up on it. The thing is, you can buff them out, and they'll, in 30 days, they're right back like that. So, I'll probably just see if I can find some on eBay or Amazon or somewhere for it. Uh, some of these cars like this, I don't know about this one. Like, again, I've never owned one of these. But some of these cars, I know, they're kind of iffy trying to find parts for them. But I also... Uh, know somebody that's got one of these and uh kind of a friend of a friend and that car is making like damn near a thousand horsepower it's no joke he's got a lot of money in it but it will scoot these little cars will flat ass get it and, and if i'm right don't quote me guys because i don't know that much about them but if i remember right it's got like a it's a Mitsubishi uh, Evolution engine that's what's in it. I know it's a twin cam four cylinder with a turbo on it. So, the only thing it sucks, I mean, it's black. It's all the stuff everybody would want, I guess, in one of these cars. But it's an automatic. It's not a stick. So, but tires are like new on it. So I don't know what we're going to do with it. Clean it up. Let the wife drive it and have some fun with it. A little sporty car. Or clean it up and sell it. So, But I thought I'd share that with everybody. Today. Monday. Everybody's gone. Grandson's not here. And I'm bored off my ass. So. Before I go out in the garage. And do a little piddling around out there and cleaning up i thought i'd share this with everybody on you on there on my youtube channel so you know if you know anything about them throw a comment out there if you know someplace i can get parts for them i'm probably going to be looking for at least a front fender and a passenger side uh skirt down or ground effect and some headlights one of the driving lights has been replaced it's fine the other one's clouded over and then that bumper cover i'll have to look under there and see what it'll take you know you don't see that so if i can push it up and rivet it or zip tie it that's probably what i'll do unless i take it completely off 
you know, I might be able to clean it up and reshoot it. I don't know. I don't like messing with that plastic crap. I fixed a bumper cover on an Audi A4 for somebody. And uh, I just don't like painting that stuff because I'm not that knowledgeable when it comes to painting cars. I know enough to get by. So I just did what I know to do. My painting experience started painting heavy equipment with single stage RM Limco enamel, cat yellow, bright white, and some kind of teal green that all of our Reliance trailers were painted. So, the match our trucks. But I just wanted to share that with everybody. Nice little car. So, if you know anything about them, throw a comment up. Later.